Now we'll talk about the Bragg's X-ray spectrometer. Bragg spectrometer is similar in construction to an ordinary optical spectrometer. An X-ray tube are made to pass through two fine slates S1 and S2, which collimate into a fine pencil. This fine X-ray beam is then made to fall upon the crystal C and it's usually sodium chloride crystal mounted on a spectrometer table. The spectrometer table is capable of a rotation about a vertical axis and its rotation can be a red on a circular graduated scale S. Yes. The reflected beam after passing through the slits S3 and S4 enter into the ionization chamber. The X-rays entering the ionization chamber ionize the gas, which causes a current to flow between the electrodes and the current can be measured by a galvanometer G here. The ionization current is a measure of the intensity of X-rays reflected by the crystal. The ionization current is measured for different values of glancing angle theta. A graph is drawn between the glancing angle theta and the ionization current. For certain values of ionization glancing angle, the ionization current increases abruptly. The first peak corresponds to first order, the second peak corresponds to the second order. From the graph, the glancing angles for different orders of reflection can be measured. Knowing the angle theta and the spacing between this thing is D for the crystal, wavelength of X-rays can be produced. 